What is going on you guys? Brandon here aka April Waters and today we traveled up to Los Angeles home of all the famous celebrities and we decided while we're up here in LA it would only be right to eat at celebrity restaurants for the next 24 hours. So the first restaurant we decided to pull up to is Trejo's Coffee and Donuts. This restaurant belongs to Danny Trejo. The name might not be too familiar to you guys but I bet you guys have seen him based off his face. Come look. His face is very iconic. Boom! This is Danny Trejo. For those of you who don't know Danny Trejo, he's a very popular Latin actor who's appeared in a bunch of movies. I know him from Spy Kids. I love Spy Kids. So he has his own restaurant over here in LA, Coffee and Donuts. And since this is our first spot and it's early, I think we need to get some coffee and donuts. Babe, you be drinking coffee no matter what time of day. I know, I'm excited to try the coffee here. I love coffee and I'm in the mood for a donut, so let's go try it. Donuts look so good. Wait, babe, can you cover your ears real quick? Guys, so I wanted to film this video by myself, but if I ever go get coffee without my girlfriend, she will literally, like my biggest fear in life is going to a coffee shop without my Killed. without my girlfriend. So since this place involves coffee, I had to call my girlfriend up and do this part with her. So, so we just walked in here and it's actually like a pretty small spot, but it's very trendy. Like look around. First thing you notice right when you walk in is the donuts. They have so many options, look at this. Starting with this, they're super colorful. Like I said, they look trendy. The one that stands out to me is this right here. I need this one, the Fruity Pebbles one. It's called the Quinceanera. What about you, what do you want? For sure, I'm gonna get a cappuccino. Oh wait, hold on, coffee. we're not talking coffee yet. <laughs> She's jumping straight to the coffee. We're talking donuts, what kind of donut do you want? I wanna try the OG, because I feel like if they're good donuts, this will be good. That's true. Hey, you can't ever go wrong with a basic glazed donut. That's why it's called OG. And then above the donuts on the wall, you have the menu. They got a bunch of coffee. So I know my girlfriend's mouth is drooling right now. <laughs> and then I noticed, look, the water over here, it actually has Danny Trejo's face on it. I think that's sick. You know, it shows that it's his restaurant. It's his place. Oh, wait, and look. Oh, recipes and stories. They got a book of him right here. Oh, they got merch. Look, they got hats. But enough talking. Now it's time to order. Can we do couple of donuts so can we do two of the quinceanera ones and then we'll do two of the og okay which ones are your favorite oh that's an easy one my favorite one is the quinceanera okay babe what kind of coffee are you eyeing i'm thinking an iced latte it is a hot day so i think an iced latte would be good uh what kind of iced latte is your favorite well my favorites are the mexican latte and also the tattoo latte okay. and then the mexican latte is horchata with espresso and that's either ice or hot. Hey, I like horchata, so yeah, we'll get one of each. Sure. Let me just have two. That actually looks sick. It looks different. That looks so good. It looks different than what you would get at like a Starbucks coffee. Yeah. It just looks unique. So yeah, I'm excited. Okay, guys, so we got our coffee. We got our donuts. Let's take a look at the donuts, though. Bro, this actually looks so good. Look, you got his face up top on the box. So I got my donut right here. Jasmine's right here. We got a few extra, but before we try the donuts. Let's try the coffee. Like I said, I'm scared for my life when it comes to coffee and Jasmine. So let's try the coffee first. Remember guys, this is horchata with espresso. Yeah. Cheers. Mm. Wait, this is actually good because it's sweet. It's really sweet and a lot of sugar. So Wait, I like it. Not crazy. What? what did I think? She was only gonna drink one? Mm. Mine is better. Wait, yeah, his is actually really good. Yours tastes like actual coffee. Mine tastes like sugar and, and sweet and chocolate and, and caramel. And if you know him, he only eats sugary things and candy. So you take the coffee, but that one tastes like black coffee. I can't do that. It's good. You need to really love coffee to enjoy a black coffee flavor. So I think that one's good for my girlfriend and this one's good for me. Yeah. What would you rate this? I would give it like an 8 out of 10. Usually when I drink coffee, I give it like a 3 or 4 out of 10. Yeah. But the horchata really makes it like sweet. So I think that's what brings us up to an 8 out of 10. I would say 8 out of 10 too. Babe, just say you want to be me. You copy me <laughs> with everything I do. Even low-key, our colors are kind of matchy. Or are they no, not? No, they're not. Oh. Okay, babe. You want to grab your OG? And I'll grab... The Fruity Pebble one. Cheers. Cheers. 10 out of 10. I put my answer before you so you don't say I'm coughing. You know I love sweets. What did you think I was going to rate this? A 10. You played me. Wait, I want to try it. Trade. 
That's the one thing I hate about being in a relationship. You have to share everything. I can't just eat a donut myself, but. It's so good. Okay, yo, the donuts here are a 10 out of 10. She wasn't lying. Now you're copying me. I'm not copying you. You think I want to be you? Yeah. The last thing I would want to be is a five foot one, short, attitude filled, spicy, freaking psychotic. Yeah, these are really good. Which one do you like better? I like both. I think they're both 10 out of 10. So Danny Trejo, you did a good job with your restaurant. Everything looks good. And now it's time to wait a little bit and find out which celebrity restaurant we're having for lunch. All right, guys, so the coffee and donuts was delicious. But come on, let's be honest, that didn't fill me up. I'm still hungry. So we decided to pull up to Dobrik's Pizza. For those of you who don't know, this is David Dobrik's spot. And I don't even have to explain who David Dobrik is. If you're watching my channel and you know who I am, then you for sure know who David Dobrik is. One of the biggest YouTubers on the platform, one of the OGs of this whole YouTube stuff. And he opened up a pizza spot. So I'm excited to try it, bro. And since this is a pizza joint, who better to bring with me than my best friend, Dennis, who's from Chicago. Dennis, take it away. Thank you, thank you everyone, thank you. I'm excited to try it because David Dobrik's from Chicago. So he knows a good pizza, for sure. Okay, now I'm even more excited because you guys all know Chicago and pizza top of the line so let's go try it guys Dobrik's pizza hey Papa Rug welcome uh, to the video okay it's so loud in here look at the vibe in here though that's the lit that's true they got cheese pepperoni supreme meat lovers that's all the options over there oh Chicago Chicagoan a Chicagoan that's a D Rose that's what D Rose is Okay, Dennis, so which one heard, should we try? I heard this is fire. This is what I always hear people talk about. The spicy vodka? That's like his like main one. Yeah. Really? Okay, so we'll do a spicy vodka, and then what else? Pick another one. Definitely not the veggie. Wait, it's too healthy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, how about meat lovers? Spicy vodka, and then meat lovers? Yeah, I love meat. I know you do. <laughs> Thank God I got a girl now to escape from this guy. Thank you for saving me from the meat lover. <laughs> She thought I was talking about the pizza, I was talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the Chicago one that we were talking about. Looks bomb. We got a Supreme right here. So we got the spicy vodka right here, bro. Look at this. So creamy, so much sauce. This looks amazing. Yo, this is the most popular option here. The spicy vodka? Yes, and I don't know why now. And then here's the veggie. Dennis, veggie. Oh! <laughs> Get it away. So they got some David Dobrik merch right here. They got David Dobrik's hat. They got, I'm probably going to get in trouble for touching these, but I got to do it for the content. They got David Dobrik's face on the cup. Look at this, bro. David Dobrik's pizza joint. You got David Dobrik everywhere. They got a t-shirt, Dobrik's pizza. And the sign right there is cool too. Look, have a slice day. Dennis, have a slice day, bro. Thank you, bro. That's the best thing you could ever say to me. So you have a D on the door, obviously for David. David Dobrik, that's actually sick, bro. So many subtle hints that this is David Dobrik's spot. I like the vibe in here too, bro. You got the music playing, the disco ball. And then the floor, it just reminds me of like a classic pizza joint. The green and red colors, the tile all the way across. It's just like a classic pizza joint. Guys, so the neat thing about Dobrik's pizza, look at this. You could create your own pizza party. Watch this. So you put a coin right here and watch what's gonna happen to this place. Look, the disco ball, the music, the lights, just, just. <laughs> this is so sick. So not only do you get good food, but you get a fun experience too. I wonder what type of conversation is brewing between my dad and my girlfriend. I would pay money to know what they're talking about right now. Oh, I just got caught. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Why you? Don't worry about it. Don't so you're talking about me and, and then you don't say don't worry, worry about, about it? it? Can you give me some banana pepper please? We got our pizza right here and I can't wait to try it. Okay guys, so we got our slices of pizza here. This is obviously the Chicago win and then this is a spicy vodka. We'll start with the spicy vodka because Dennis said it's their most popular one. So Dennis, the slices are thicker. This is deep dish, Dennis? He leaned more towards the deep dish style, I'll say that. Okay, ready? Nope. Cheers. Cheers. Dude, it's soft. Bro, this is good. It's very creamy yeah. and very soft, you're right. And I like it because it's plain. It's like to the point. It's just sauce and basil. It's not like too much going on. Sometimes when you have too much, it just tastes like too busy. But this one, you can taste all the flavor because there's not too much on it. I like it. I'll give this like a nine out of 10. I'll give it an eight. 
Eight out of okay. ten. See, I'm opposite. I wish I had a little more on there. Like something else on there, like maybe pepperoni or something on there. Okay, well then grab the Chicago one because this one is the one for you, Dennis. That's my style. Mm. You're more of a vodka pizza guy. Yeah, that one was okay, but I'm team vodka pizza for sure. I'm team Chicago. You like that one more? Yep. This one gets a 9 out of 10 for me. I think all in all, the pizza, it's okay. Like, it's, it's not the best pizza I've ever had in my life, but it's definitely not bad. Like, I would come back here and eat the pizza, but I think what bumps this place up a little bit is the experience. Like, the, the, vibe. Dis the vibe, the disco ball, the music, David Dobrik's face everywhere, because I'm not going to lie, I'm a fan of David Dobrik, bro. I used to watch <laughs> all his vlogs, those four minute, 20 second vlogs. I used to oh, watch all of them. Oh, you already know. Bro. But it was four minute 19 seconds yeah. because of the cutting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a fan of David Dobrik, so I got to get this place a 10 out of 10. Papa Rug, Jasmine, how do you guys like it? Very good. I never eat a pizza like two inches thick of dough. Thick it's crust? Just, it's, it's good. I like it. I like it. I've made vodka pasta for you, so like it's cool eating it for pizza. You made it for me on Valentine's Day. Yeah, I like it. I would rate it a nine. Hey, what did I rate it? Nine. Oh, okay. Babe, <laughs> stop trying to be me. Dad, your son's girlfriend wants to be your son. Well, I'm in love with you, so I mean, that's a good thing. Yeah. Okay, guys, so we're walking over to our next restaurant and look on the floor. We have the stars. Look, Snoop Dogg star. Bro, this is so sick. Everybody knows these stars on the floor are a staple of LA. That's how you know we're in Los Angeles, seeing these stars on the floor. Hey, do you think they have a Devin Booker one? Not yet, soon though. Wait, the stars are for actors, right? I think so, yeah. Oh, so then they need one for Luca's flopping ass. <laughs> Devin Booker won't have one. He doesn't flop, but Luca, yeah, he needs his own star. That's an actor. We just pulled up to Wahlburgers. This is Mark Wahlberg's restaurant. For those of you who are unfamiliar with Mark Wahlberg, one of the biggest actors in the world. He starred in a lot of movies. My favorite one is Ted. What about you, Dad? Oh my God, I can't believe myself. I'm standing here, I'm gonna eat the food that he made. Did he make it with his own hands? Yeah, I can't believe I'm gonna try their burger. I watched Mark for years and years, and he's my favorite actor. And I can't believe I'm standing here and I'm gonna try their food. That's why I had to do this part with Papa Rug. He loves movies, he stays watching Netflix all day. So, Dad, let's go take a look at the menu and see what we're gonna order. Let's go. What's your guys' most popular burger? The Hour Burger is the most popular. Hour Burger? Wh which one is that? Okay, that's the one pictured right here. Okay, that's the one pictured. So you know it's popular if that's the one pictured on the menu. Take a look at that. Dad, you wanna go with that? Oh, yeah. We trust you? Oh yeah. We trust it, we trust it. We'll do two of those. All right guys, so the number we got is number 15. I'm not gonna lie, I don't really wanna hold this. Dad, can you do me a favor please? Uh, can you hold this? No offense to the number 15, but the Suns just got beat by the Nuggets. Nikola Jokic, number 15. I don't want anything to do with this number for the rest of my life. So, Dad, change it? I'm literally traumatized from Jokic. That man, Jokic, single-handedly took my team out the playoffs. I don't want to hear that guy's name it's ever okay. again. Get over it. Get over it. Next year. That man. Always next year. Dude, I've been saying next year for the last three years. If there's one common theme I've noticed from every celebrity restaurant we've been to is they all have merch. Mark Wahlberg merch. You got the W for Wahlberg. Mom's favorite. Oh, I should get that since we all know my mom loves me more than she loves face rugs. So I think we should get this, yeah? Or is Brian going to kill me? I think he'll murder you. Yeah, face rug will probably put a dent in my head. So let's not get that. Anyways, now we wait on our burgers. We can go upstairs, I think. Let's go check it out, see what's up there. So we'll go upstairs while we wait on our food and check it out. This restaurant's big, bro. Look, they have posters of all of Mark Wahlberg's movies. Look. I feel like Mark Wahlberg's spot is the restaurant that feels most like his. Like, you have his face everywhere. This is sick, bro. I can't wait to see how the food tastes. Burgers right here, medium well. Thank you. What is this uh, orange sauce? Oh, that's the wall sauce. So that's the signature sauce. Okay, thank yeah. you. Okay, right away it reminds me of Shake Shack. Doesn't it look like? A yeah, right away since when I saw the burger, yeah, a lot of burgers I see that like they look like dry and stuff. But this one is like like juicy, very juicy. Wait, so. Dad, you're right. Look how juicy. Look at my paper. Can you get a close up on that? Look at all the juice from the burger, from the meat, bro. Look at that. This is not cheap meat. This is a good burger. Mark Wahlberg, great actor, great food, no complaints. On to the next restaurant. Okay, guys, we had our donuts and coffee. We had our David Dobrik pizza. We had some Mark Wahlberg burgers. Everything was so good. It was good, but babe, I'm full. How are you feeling? Are you full? I'm full, but I think we have enough room for one more spot. Okay, okay, guys. So we're driving to one last celebrity restaurant for you guys. So. 
keep watching guys all right guys so the last restaurant we have is crossroads kitchen this is actually travis barker's restaurant for those of you who don't know who travis barker is i'm gonna let her take it away okay i know him because obviously i watch the kardashians and i know he's dating courtney kardashian and i love i love them together wait is travis and courtney who your <laughs> sisters compares yeah. Oh! Guys, if you watch the Kardashians, they're always like all over each other, lovey dovey, cringy, and that's us. Every time, like, I'm with Jasmine and her sisters, we'll be like holding hands, hugging, like. <laughs> and then her sisters are like, you guys yeah. are like Travis and Courtney. So the girls might know him as being Courtney Kardashian's uh, partner, but he's actually also a musician. He's a drummer. And on top of that, the younger audience might know him because his son is dating Charlie D'Amelio, the huge TikTok star. So yeah, he's well known. So this restaurant is vegetarian. I'm oh. excited. Something different. I know he's not into this healthy stuff either. Yeah, how about you find someone to record this too? <laughs> You're not even gonna record it? No, I don't care if I'm not eating. I don't wanna be in there. I'm down to do vegetarian. We've ate dirty all video, bro. We've had donuts, we've had pizza, we've had burgers. I'm down for a nice healthy dinner to end this video. So vegetarian seems like a good option. Let's go try. Let's go, guys. Bro. Bro, I told you I'm not coming. Bro, you don't have to eat the food. Just film it, please. Please. Fine. Come on. <laughs> Looks fancy. We're also that couple that sits next to each other instead always. of across. We're literally always touching like this so we can't sit across. We have to <laughs> sit next to each other, bro. We're so cringe. We are. Okay, guys, so we're gonna take a look at the menu, but first, look how fancy the restaurant looks. It's like a step up from all the other celebrity restaurants we've been through today. This one is actually like a sit down, grab a menu, you have a waiter. It's like a fancy sit down spot. So now let's see what we're gonna order. So over here they have the appetizer, they got salads. Oh, Dennis, bad news. Vegetables. This place is a nightmare. Have you all been here before, guys? Uh, no, First we time, haven't. Yeah. First time, right? Yeah. Are you guys aware that we're 100% plant based? Yeah, that's cool. Can we do the spicy rigatoni pasta? Okay. And then can we do the skirt steak? So what is a steak made out of? Eggplant. Eggplant? Okay, yeah, we'll do steak and pasta. Our chef recommend us to ask our guests to order from two to three dishes per person. Two to three dishes per person? What? Also, you wanna you wanna unfold it, the, the menu? So that sounds tell? expensive. <laughs> That's expensive one. Yeah, I don't want to unfold it. That sounds great. Okay, perfect. <laughs> the waiter kept trying to get me to turn the menu paper, but look. I'm not dumb. This side of the menu, look, $175 per person. Hey, yo, I don't got it like that. <laughs> I, I don't need to act bougie or flex. $175 dinner? I don't got it like that. As I wear my Cuban chain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so the food came out and it actually looks bomb. Look at this. So over here, we have the skirt steak made out of eggplant. It actually looks like real meat. I don't know if it's gonna taste like real meat, but it looks like it. We got a side of mashed potatoes. The spicy rigatoni vodka pasta. That looks this good. This looks so good. It looks like real meat. It literally looks like a medium rare steak, but it's made completely out of eggplant. I got my steak. Got my pasta. Let's see what Travis Barker is working with. Cheers, babe. Mine's good. Bro's holding back tears. It's not that it's gross. I'm not saying this is bad. Usually when I order steak, I don't expect eggplant to come out. I don't hate it. I would definitely prefer real meat over eggplant steak. I'd give it like a four out of 10. I'm just not a big fan of veggies. I'm not a big fan of eggplant or vegetables in general. So four out of 10, babe, what about well, you? I'll be the judge of this because I am not a big meat person. So like, let's let's switch and then I'll try it. I like veggies. But how is your pasta? My pasta's 10. I like 10? Yeah. It's good. It tastes like eggplant with like crust around it, like breaded, breaded eggplant. Yeah, wait, babe, what would you rate it though? I would rate it like a three. You said it was good. No, but it's good. It's good, but like <laughs> it's like steak. It's okay. Steak. You, you know what, guys? Let me. <laughs> you confused me, bro. <laughs> Let me try the pasta. <laughs> it's okay. Honestly, I'm gonna just keep it real with you guys. I'm not a big fan of this restaurant. Probably the worst one out of this video. It's not nasty, but compared to the other celebrity restaurants we were at, 
I would rank this one at the bottom. And this one's the nicest one too, which That's is crazy. Nice restaurants are deceiving. The food the quality is sometimes lower. You're right. If this just goes to show, looks could be deceiving. It doesn't matter how fancy the place looks, how expensive the chandeliers are, the candles on the table. Ow! The candles on the table, none of that matters because all the other places we went to was more like fast food and the food tasted way better. No hate towards Travis Barker or this restaurant, but I've had better pasta and I've had better, wow, whatever the hell that was. So. <laughs> hey, Dennis. Hey, chill, bro. Hey, I told you I wasn't gonna come in here if you did this. All right, guys, that is gonna close out today's video. Please drop a like if you enjoyed. <laughs> did you guys like us together? I feel like this was such, was like such a random group, but it ended up being so fun. Like, I got my dad, my girlfriend, and my best friend in I one video. I say boyfriend, but it's like a what, what did you think I was gonna say? Boyfriend. That too. <laughs> okay, Should we go. switch spots? I think so. <laughs> Do me a huge favor and comment down below which meal or which celebrity restaurant looked the best. Which, if. <laughs> uh, guys, do me a huge favor and. Uh, do me a huge favor and. Hey, stop! <laughs> if, if, you guys had, if you guys had one celebrity restaurant to go to from this video, which. Okay, Brian, no, no, no. If you want to laugh, you're getting thrown into the freaking camera. Video. Hey, put me back behind the camera. Okay, okay. Put me back behind the camera. Hey, stop. Imagine I put it in the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 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 for, hey, for that three seconds, I'm in the thumbnail, guys. Oh, Let, no, I got Jasmine. I don't need you. Guys, pump, pump. Dude, he's so ugly. Hey, 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 hey. If you guys had one celebrity restaurant to go to from this video, which one would you guys pick? Comment down below. Other than that, it has been your boy. Dennis. <laughs> Jasmine. Brandon, a.k.a. Bravadis. And we're out. Peace.